the best thing that ever happened to iOS was jailbreaking. Gabe, you're here back with another video. And today I'm going to show you my favorite Cydia tweaks available for iOS 8 through iOS 8.1.2 right now on the Cydia store. Let's not waste any time and uh, proceed with the first tweak. And the first one is a personal favorite. And if you are a user like me who came from Android to iOS, you're going to enjoy this a lot as uh, this feature was enabled on uh, some Android uh, devices such as uh, the LG G2 or Sony Xperia Z2 and it's called uh, Smart Tap. Basically, you can lock and unlock your uh, device by simply double tapping on your, your device screen. You can uh, select different settings from the settings uh, menu and uh, customize it uh, to your liking. You can see right here has a lot of features, a lot of settings to choose from, and this is a smart tab. My uh, second uh, favorite uh, tweak is called SP Touch. Also, a very customizable uh, tweak. And what uh, this does is uh, that it enables to have a home button if you want. On your task screen it's a software home button on your task screen which you can use to exit apps to switch tasks and uh, so on and as you can see it works uh, just fine this is a, a very good tweak mainly to those who are just like me and are not uh, really big fans of uh, having always to, to press the hardware home button I personally am quite afraid uh, of uh, using uh, this home uh, button uh, because I use it uh, a lot throughout the day and I'm afraid that uh, I might break it in time. So uh, what SP Touch does, it uh, enables me to have, uh, to have uh, a software alternative on the screen uh, of my device. So this is SP Touch, you can get it also in uh, Cydia. Another tweak, and this is the big daddy of all tweaks, is called String to My Street. You can get it in Cydia, it's a paid tweak, but there are ways to, to get it um, also free. And this allows you to customize your device um, however you want and uh, to customize uh, different aspects of the device uh, from uh, the animations, the app slider, the control center, the dock, the folders, the icons and so on tons and tons of options for you to, to customize your device. As you can see, my dock uh, has a cover flow like uh, design. Also, my icons are a lot smaller than they usually are. And as you can see, also my icons um, have a different, uh, let's say, um, they look different as I have enabled uh, high contrast in uh, color themes in uh, spring to mine so uh, the colors pop up a little more on the icons just uh, if you want uh, like on a super amoled uh, display okay this was a uh, spring to mine free as i said you can get it in the cydia it's a paid tweak but uh, to be honest it's worth every every single penny another tweak is called no slow animation and uh, Although this is enabled also in Spring Tomize, where you can um, play with uh, the speed of your animations. And what this does, it enables you to, to open apps and uh, do other stuff on your device without having to wait for those long and uh, ugly animations that uh, come with uh, iOS on your device by default. No motion is another tweak. What uh, this tweak does is to remove completely the parallax effect from your uh, screen. As you know, if you go into the normal settings and uh, disable uh, the no motion feature or enable the no motion feature, the parallax effect uh, will not uh, dis disappear completely. It will just go in the uh, background and still uh, continue to consume battery. 
but no motion from Cydia completely disables the parallax effect, thus uh, improving also the battery life on your device. Another must have if you want, it's Kill, bang, kill Background 8 and uh, it does exactly what the name suggests. So as you can see, you have uh, right here a button, if we press this, it's gonna kill all the apps that are running in the background and this uh, I find it to be a very useful feature. If you want it's the X button or a close button that uh, you find in uh, Windows Phone 8 or also on uh, or especially on Android devices. In Tube, it's another trick that allows you to save videos from uh, YouTube. Lately I'm having a bit of problem with uh, my YouTube app. It, uh, crashes a lot, I don't know, I hope Google fixes this, as uh, it's not the first time that, uh, that I'm noticing this, uh, this thing going on. As you can see, it adds an in-tube button right here, and if you use it, it's gonna show you the different options for download you can also download just the audio or you can download uh, the entire video with uh, some it's a very useful app especially for me because if i found uh, something nice on uh, youtube and i don't have time to watch it i can watch it later offline the videos are um, automatically saved in uh, the videos app and you can enjoy them later um, so, in tube, you can get it also on uh, Cydia. Another cool trick, it's uh, called Glowboard. And as the name suggests, and uh, you may have already noticed, it adds some uh, glowing effects to your icons, especially on those uh, apps that uh, have notifications, such as my email boxes, or Facebook, or uh, if you open any apps. Very customizable, you can customize it to, to your liking. As you can see right here, a lot of options. So uh, this is a uh, glow board. You can get it from uh, from Cydia. Side delete, another must have um, tweak if you ask me. This enables you to remove the tweaks or the apps installed from the Cydia store without having to go to Cydia right from the home screen of your device as you can see and this is a very neat uh, trick indeed another must have if you ask me it's iCleaner Pro this enables you to gain more memory from your device it uh, cleans up all the junk files on your uh, device thus freeing up uh, memory a must have app if you ask me on iOS the first time that I use it I got about uh, 2.7 gigabytes of uh, memory so uh, pretty neat if you ask me especially that I have the iPad mini the 16 gigabytes uh, version another uh, must have app if you ask me it's classic dock and you already noticed that I'm no longer having the iOS 7, iOS 8 dock. I have the iOS 6 uh, dock, which I much prefer it to the ugly, blurry iOS dock. And uh, this week, this week uh, called Classic Dock, enables you to, to have uh, the old uh, iPhone 6, uh, sorry, iOS 6 uh, dock back very customizable a lot of tweaks a lot of things to do with it so this is classic duck another one it's a uh, ad blocker and as the name suggests it does exactly what it says it blocks the ads um, in safari in uh, chrome and uh, on any other app that you enable it to to block the ads as you can see here, if you go to settings, you can select the apps 
where um, it needs to do its magic. So this is a blocker. Barrel, it's another um, old tweak that you can find in uh, Cydia. And this enables you to have different animations uh, of your folders or icons when uh, scrolling to the pages. I don't uh, use it as uh, I'm using Springtomize and uh, I have this feature enabled in Springtomize so uh, for me Barrel it's uh, redundant right now. But if you can get uh, Springtomize, download Barrel and uh, it does a good job. What else there is? Uh, cylinder, exactly the same thing, just like Barrel. So. Uh, This is it. And if you own Teams and uh, another level of customization to your uh, device, Winterboard is a must have on every iOS device. You already know this. You can download Teams and uh, install them, thus changing the looks of your um, device. Another cool app this time that I downloaded from uh, Cydia is called uh, XBMC and this is uh, basically live TV on the go if you want. It allows you to watch uh, live uh, TV channels, uh, to stream movies, music, uh, YouTube videos and so on. I uh, personally like it a lot. I did have quite a bit of trouble in uh, installing it and making it making it to, to run but um, right now it's working it's working perfectly and uh, I have no issues uh, so far let's go uh, to this one let's pick up a video Well, Tom and Jerry sent us little helpers. As you can see, it says working. Or not. Uh, apparently, not all um, the add ons are working as uh, they should. So let's pick uh, one channel, let's go to movies, let's pick one from here. Let's see, Ted. You can download subtitles. You can do a lot of things with uh, with this program. I really like it, especially when I travel abroad and uh, I want to watch my um, my TV channels from my country. And uh, the only way is to to stream it, uh, stream them to um, the internet. And as you can see, it works perfectly. So as you can see my friends, XBMC, it's a great app if you enjoy uh, having it on uh, your device, on your iDevice, live TV or uh, movies and uh, whatnot. This pretty much does it for my uh, favorite uh, Cydia tweaks. These are the ones that I use. There were a lot more, but I uninstalled them as uh, they gave me some issues with my device. Not every trick worked on my uh, iPad mini, probably due to uh, hardware limitations, as this is an old device. Next week I'm gonna get uh, an iPad mini Retina, so uh, I'm gonna test those tweaks uh, also on the mini Retina and uh, come back with another video about uh, CDA tweaks. 
if uh, if they work some of them were not updated to support ios 8 yet yet but uh, probably they will be in the next couple of days or weeks so no worries just go to cdia and uh, try to to search and uh, download them or the tweaks that you are interested in a couple of days probably i'll come back with another video with uh, all the ripples on uh, cdia the best ones not uh, all the shitty ones if you want me to say it so um, i'm gonna make another video this time about the resources in uh, cdia okay hope uh, you enjoyed this video if you do it uh, hit the like button also share this video and subscribe to my channel for future content follow me on my official facebook page google plus twitter tumblr and uh, as always my friends be safe be good your friend gabriel sign out peace